21 years ago, my son-in-law Rob called me at my DePaul office in downtown Chicago. Hi, Grandma Kitty. Your second grandchild is now one hour old. Your daughter and baby Jordan are both doing very well. Come as soon as you can. Such wonderful news. Within 45 minutes, I was walking down the hall of a suburban hospital to their room, and there they were. I hugged Rob at the door, held my daughter Beth as she laid happily exhausted in bed, and then I sat down in a chair. Rob put Jordan in my arms. I remember kissing his soft forehead, feeling the silkiness of his hair, closing his tiny hand around my little finger. When I looked over at Beth and Rob, tears began. Such a miracle to hold new life. But the day after they went home, my daughter called. She was choking back tears. Jordan was in the hospital. Something showed up in a blood test that needed to be investigated. Would he be okay? How long before they would know? Oh, the fear. I could not even cry. It took 24 hours to break the excruciating silence. Finally, the doctor said the baby was fine. There was absolutely nothing wrong. Tears of relief. The next day, I drove to their home for Sunday dinner. I found Beth and Rob busy in the warmth of their kitchen. Six-year-old Ryan was sitting in the sunlight on the couch in the living room with six-day-old Jordan asleep in his arms. As I quietly walked closer, I heard Ryan say, Everything is going to be okay, little brother. This is Ryan. Two years later, my 85-year-old father was in an assisted living facility in Florida. As the end of his life was drawing near, he began to feel vulnerable and sad, and he wanted to stay in Florida near his doctor. He was so far away. I telephoned him every afternoon. Early one morning, he called me. He sounded very choked up. Kitty, remember when Jordan came home from the hospital the second time and Ryan was comforting him? I sure do, Dad. Well, I had a dream last night, and in it, I was very afraid. I was crying. Then I heard Ryan's voice saying, Everything is going to be okay, Grandpa. This is Ryan. We both wept. How are you today, Dad? Kitty, he said. Everything is going to be all right.